This is an unbelievable story. What more can yeah. you add to it? Well, I can tell you, Zubin, to add on to the Pittsburgh Press-Gazette and what it reported here, that the initial dispute occurred Wednesday. And Antonio Brown ran a route in practice. Ben Roethlisberger told him to run the route again. He didn't like that. I think he felt like he was getting shown up. Mm. So he left the practice field. Ben went to speak to him after. But Antonio Brown left the facility that time. A number of Steelers, employees, players, even the team owner himself, Art Rooney, reached out wow. to Antonio Brown. And he did not return any of their texts or messages. He did not show up on Saturday. He showed up on Sunday thinking that he would be healthy enough to play in the game and was promptly deactivated. Now, keep in mind, I think part of this also stems from the fact that just last week, the Steelers selected Juju Smith-Schuster as their team MVP, mm -hmm. not Antonio Brown after the season that he had. That might have been a slight that affected some of his thinking here, but there have been a number of issues that have occurred like this. This is the latest in a long line of them, and really, it is a fitting end to what was a tumultuous season in Pittsburgh ends in a tumultuous way with Antonio Brown. Tumultuous is right, from Le'Veon Bell all the way through. He had that monster game in New Orleans, and the season is so important, that critical Week 17 game, and he's not available out of his own doing. That said, everything that you just mentioned, despite his prodigious talent, I mean, are the Steelers looking to shop him at this point? Listen, he's 31 years old. He's the second highest paid wide receiver in the league. There have been a number of issues. I think when you talk to teams around the league, they say they wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers do wind up shopping him. The question is, what team is willing to take on that salary for that age player with some of these issues? Now, again, he's a transcendent talent. His work ethic is unmatched. We know what he brings to the table. Prodigious talent, as you mentioned. I like that word. <laughs> but again, it's the cost of doing business. And is there a team that's going to be willing to do that? And are the Pittsburgh Steelers even going to be willing to move on from him, but these are issues that are going to have to be addressed. Mike Tomlin's going to have a press conference Wednesday. Rest be assured he's going to be asked about Antonio Brown <laughs> and what he thinks of what the team should do and how it should handle it, and we'll see what Mike Tomlin says on Wednesday. What more can you add to this story? Well, certainly ugly. You know, Ben Roethlisberger, the veteran quarterback, was identified as a teammate he had a uh, dispute with, Antonio Brown, on a Wednesday walkthrough, and uh, with myself and Adam Schefter, the way it was explained to us is that this involved a walkthrough where different accounts here, but what, we, what we've been told is that Ben didn't like the way a certain route was run and wanted to do it over again, and the dispute arose out of that. Now, there's other versions of it, but the bottom line is that Antonio Brown then proceeded to miss meetings, practices, uh, kind of surprised the team when he showed up and expecting to play on Sunday, and they were no way they were going to play him after all the shenanigans that went on through the week. And so they had to play the Bengals in a must-win game for them, even though they're not in the playoffs, right. uh, without Antonio Brown. And, uh, you know, Mike Tom and the, the coach of the Steelers, he'll face the media on Wednesday. So I imagine we'll see what he says about that.